Babban Hafsan sojojin Najeriya ya ce tattaunawa ba ta cikin tsarin yaki da ta'addanci a kasar nan. Shirin sadarwa na na'urorin zamani za ya samar wa Najeriya kudaden shiga sama da dalla biliyan 1. Gwamnatin tarayyar Najeriya tana burin samun nara triliyan 1 daga harajin hadahadar kudade a asusun bankuna. A labarin kasuwanci da masana'antu kuwa Gwamnatin tarayya ta kara farashin man fitar zuwa naira 143 da kwabu 80 a labarin kasashen ketare kuwa sama da yan Najeriya dubu uku aka kora daga kasar Amurka a dalilin aikata laifuka masu kallon mu barkan mu da sake saduwa da ku a labarin SVTV sashen Hausa tare da ni Fatima Ibrahim babban hafsan sojojin Najeriya Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai Ya ce ta taurawa ba ta cikin tsarin soja na yaki da ayyukan ta'addanci da suka addabi yankin arewa maso yammacin kasar nan. General Buratai ya bayyana haka ne a wani taro da yayi da manema labarai a wani sansanin soja a yankin karamar hukumar mulki ta Faskari ta jihar Katsina a cikin shirye-shiryen bikin zagayewar ranar sojoji ta wannan shekara. The theme for this year's celebration is Nigeria's territorial defense and sovereignty imperatives for Nigerian armies sustained training and operations. This team has been carefully selected to showcase the Nigerian army's capabilities and contributions towards the defense of the territorial integrity and sovereignty of our, Niger of our country, Nigeria. Jana Burata ya bayyana shirin sulhu da wasu gwamnatin Arewa suka yi da yan bindiga a matsayin siyasa ce kawai. Ya kara da cewa babban manufar rundunar sojojin Najeriya shine yaki da wadannan yan ta'adda da ke kai hare-hare ga mutanen da ba su ji ba wasu gani ba. The security situations must be dynamic. We must continue to address them as they arise. Uh, society is dynamic. And we need everybody to support the process for the restoration of peace and handling this uh, insecurity across our country. Whether I am disposed to dialogue, well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not disposed to dialogue. When I remove my uniform, then I can say that yes, we will go for dialogue. But for now, it's the military option. If uh, the civil authorities at whatever level decide to go for dialogue, then uh, we have no option but to support them to also do the dialogue. But as far as the, as the army is concerned, the new army is concerned, for now, dialogue is not an option for us and it's not on our table. It's absolutely a political decision. Wakili Mutairu Sama Ila Mafara Wandia Halo Chiwana Taru Yaba Yana Chiwa Runduna Soja Nta Kuma Kraba Kayan Tella Piga Mabukata Agarun Paskari Kuma Zata Raba Watanan Kaya Yaki Ajawa Hita Latinda Shida Nata Raya Yara Kasarana Nda Kuma Yanki Mba Bambirna Abuja this press briefing signals the commencement of the Nigerian Army Day celebration for the year 2020. It will be followed subsequently by my media engagement with editors of selected media establishments across the country. There will also be the airing of Operation Last Dance, which is a theme on the activities of the Nigerian Army. Additionally, as part of Nigerian Army's corporate social responsibilities, there will be commissioning of special intervention projects executed in various communities throughout the six political zones of the country. This is done with the view to improving on the existing cordial civil-military relations. In line with the French government's 
efforts at pushing in the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Nigerian Army will be distributing palliatives to vulnerable Nigerians in the 36 states and the federal capital territory concurrently across all formations and units in the country. Sauran shiruru wanda aka gabatar a wannan rana sun hada da kaddamar da wasu ayyukan tallafi na musamman da rundunar sojan Najeriya take gabatarwa a dukkan yankuna shidan na tarayyar Najeriya. Other activities lined up for the celebration include the commissioning of the completed projects within a division area of responsibility. This is where we are. This year's activities will also feature the Chief of Army Staff's commendation of a parade. Therefore, the General Army Day will transmit to real-time operation condemned exercise a health sanity which is aimed at COVID banditry and other criminal activities in the Northwest. General Burata ya kuma ya bawa kokarin mani ma labarai a fagin wannan yaki da ake gudanarwa da yan ta'adda a duk fadin kasar Najeriya. We also acknowledge and appreciate the vital role of the media as formidable partners in promoting peace and national development. We will continue to partner with you in this regard. I urge you to give the Nigerian Army Day celebration 2020 the widest coverage and publicity it deserves. What about Barco Tuntari Yadi Kizama Abuna Abuja Ta Umarchi Gomnet and Jahar Zamfara? The only Mutum Mesuna Ibrahim Bello Gusoma Ekachi a Giron Gomnet and Jahar Zamfara. The Kuma Wani Mesuna Sani Abdullahi Shankafi the Subayana Agabanta. A can one lapa, one labadi, a sharp can side as a montana, but twenty the chin zarapi. A can one of Mutum Mesuna Sani Jiga. A chicken labarung, what then the Akaik are singing Kira the Abinchaka. Kuma Hukunta Company Jiga Enterprises Nigerian Limited a can badak a lot of Kwangila to Bogi. Labarun some one lapa, Sani Jiga, a must end one day a mulla key one and company a matter of green shade at the Hukuma registered company. So Nina ba shi ne ke da mallakar wannan kamfani ba haka kuma wadanda ake ƙara sun zargi Sani Jiga da karatar da kudaden al'umma har naira miliyan 800 da cewa za a kawo takin domin amfani ga manuma a kakar noman damina na shekarar 2018 a sanadiyar kariyar ta talan arzikin da annobar corona ta yi farga harkokin kudade a duk fadin duniya Gwamnatin Jihar Kano a ƙarƙashin jagorancin Alhaji Abdullahi Umar Ganduje ta gabatar da wani sabon kasafin kudi wanda aka zabtare kashi 30 bisa 100 daga wanda aka gabatar a can baya. Ta a kwanakin baya ne gwamnatin ta sanar da cewa kasafin kudi wanda aka ajiye akan kudi sama da naira biliyan 200 za a rage shi zuwa naira biliyan 338. Wannan yasa komishinan kasafin kudi da tsare tsare na Jihar Alhaji Nura Muhammad dan kadai ya gabatar da wannan sabon kasafin kudin a gaban majalisar zartas wato jihar domin su yi nazari da kuma zartas da kudirin kafin a aika wa majalisar dokoki da takardun kasafin kudin minista watsa labarai na kasa Alhaji Lai Muhammad ya ce shirin komawa akan hanyoyin zamani na sadarwa za ya samar wa kasar kudade har sama da naira miliyan 1 daga kudaden karbar lasisi da kuma na amfani da na'urorin da kafo pin watsa labarai za su bayar Alhaji Muhammad ya bayyana haka ne a lokacin da yake yi wa manima labarai na fadar gwamnatin karan haske bayan kammala taron kwamitin zartas wa na gwamnatin tarayya a fadar shugaban kasa ta Asorok Villa a birnin Abuja ministan ya kara da cewa wannan shirin za ya samar da guraben aiki har miliyan 1 a cikin shekaru 3 masu zuwa ta hanyoyin kire a kwatunan talabijin Shuriya Pinapinay da kuma tashoshin talabijin na yanar gizo da tallace tallace da sauran su Hukumar Hannar Cin Hanci da Rashawa ta kasa wato ICPC ta gurfanar da shugaban hukumar kula tashoshin watsa labarai ta kasa NBC Modib Bokawu a gaban kotu akan tuhumar aikata laifuk ya dara da kuma amfani da karfin mukamin sauran azurta kansa an gurfanar da Alhaji Kawu na tare da wasu guda biyu Mr. Adipo Onifade da kuma kamfanin sadarwa na Pinnacle Communication Limited bayan an yi wata karar da suke fuskanta tun a can baya. 
an yi wa karar Koskari mani a dalilin mutuwar Mr. Loki Omolwa wanda yana cikin wadanda ake tuhuma mutanen bas karbi lefan sa ba kwana daya bayan samun rashin jituwa a tsakanin karamin ministan kwadago na kasa da yan majalisar rattawa ta kasa majalisar ta umurci da adakatar da shirin nan na daukar matasa 744 daga dukkan kananan hukumomin mulki na kasar nan majalisar ta bayyana haka ne a cikin wani jawabi na hadin gwiwa daga mai magana da yawan majalisar dattawa Alhaji Ajibola Basiru da kuma na majalisar wakilai Mr Benjamin Kalu majalisar ta ce ta bayar da wannan umurni ne har sai ma'aikatar da ke kula da wannan shirin ta gabatar da cikakken bayani game da tsarin daukar matasan aiki mai shari'a ta yi wo ta yi na wata babbar kotun tarayya a birnin Abuja ya umarci da a kwace wasu kadarori har guda 48 wadanda ake zargin mallakar tsohon shugaban asusan insurance na social trust fund Mrs Ngozi Olijem wadannan kadarorin suna a turare masu daraja a birnin Abuja da jihohin bayan sa Enugu Edo da Delta Mrs Ngozi wadda ita ce ma'ajar kudi ta kungiyar yakin neman zabe na tsohon shugaban kasa Goodluck Jonathan da mataimakin sa na Madisambo ta kasance tana buya tun a shekarar 2016 wanda yasa hukumar hanayi wa tattalin arzikin kasa zagon kasa wato EFCC ta saka ta ajiran mutanen da take nema ruwa a jallo a shekarar 2016 a ranar Laraba ne kasar Najeriya ta samu adadi mafi yawa da aka samu a rana daya na mutanen da aka tabbatar suna dauki da cutar corona wanda yake mutane 790 Cibiyar yaki da cutu tuka ta kasa ta sanar da haka tana cewa wannan ya kawo jimillar masu dauki da cutar zuwa mutane 226484 daga mutane 225494 da aka bayar da rahoton sun kamu da cutar a ranar talatar da ta gabata Cibiyar ta sanar da cewa mutane 10452 daga cikin wannan jimillar suka samu raka daga cutar sai mutane 633 da suka riga mu gidan gaskiya a sanadiyar kamuwa da wannan cuta ma'aikatar harkar sufurin jiragen sama ta tarayya ta bayar da sanarwar fara zirga-zirgar jiragen sama a cikin gida Najeriya wani jawabi daga ma'aikatar ya bayyana cewa za a bude filayen tashi da saukar jiragen sama na birnin Abuja da Lagos da garanar 8 ga watan Yuni na wannan shekarar sai kuma filayen sauka da tashin jiragen sama na birnin Kano Potakot Oweri da Meduguri za su fara aiki a ranar 11 ga watan Yuni na wannan shekarar 2020. Sauran filayen jiragen saman za a buda su ne a ranar 15 ga watan Yuni kuma za a takaita zirga-zirgar ne a cikin gida Najeriya. Shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ya ce shirin nan na kwamitin shugaban kasa wanda aka dora wa alhakin fitar da hanyoyin tafiyar da tattalin arzikin kasa mai inganci yana kudurin samar da kariya ga matalauta da marasa galihu a kasar nan domin taimaka musu ragira dadin kariyar tattalin arzikin da ya addabi kasar nan da ma duniya baki dayan ta shugaban yayi wannan bayani ne ta hanyar hotunan bidiyo a lokacin wani taro na majalisar dinkin duniya akan yanda za a kawar da talauci a duk fadin duniyar nan taron ya gudana ne a headquarter majalisar dake a birnin New York kuma an kaddamar da shirin rage talauci ne a wannan lokaci a ƙarƙashin jagorancin farfesa Tijani Muhammad Bande shugaban babban majalisa ta majalisar dinkin duniya gwamnatin tarayyar Najeriya tana hasashen samun kudaden shiga har na trillion daya daga harajin da ake samu daga hadahadar kudade a asusan al'umma da ke ban kuna daban-daban na kasar nan sakataren gwamnatin tarayya Mr. Boss Mustafa ne ya bayyana haka a lokacin wani biki na kaddamar da wani kwamitin na ma'aikatan gwamnatin tarayya akan tantance kudaden kasa da kuma tattara kudaden wannan hadahadar da aka kwashe shekaru ba a karba ba Mr Mustafa wanda ya wakilci shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari a wurin wannan bikin ya ce akwai bukatar samar da karin kudaden shiga ta hanyar karbar wadannan kudaden wadanda aka kwashe kusan shekaru 20 ba a kula da karbar su ba a labarin kasuwanci da masana'antukuwa Hukumar Kayo da farashin albarkatun man Peter ta kasar Najeriya PPPRA ta bayar da sanarwar ƙara farashin man Peter a tsakanin nara 1480 zuwa nara 1480 a kowace lita 
wata takardar umurni wanda aka fitar a ranar 1 ga watan yuni na shekarar 2020 ta ce hukumar ta shawarci masu gidajen mai da su yi amfani da wannan sabon farashin ma a watan na yuni idan za a iya tunawa a ranar 31 ga watan mayu na shekarar 2020 hukumar ta sanar da jadawalin farashin man akan kudi naira 121 da kobo 50 zuwa naira 123 da kobo 50 a kowace lita a duk fadin kasar nan a labarin kasashen ketare kuwa bayanai da hukumar kula da tsarin gida ta kasar Amerika sun nuna a sanadiyar tsaurare dokokin shige da fice kasar ta koro yan asalin kasar Najeriya 319 wadanda aka tabbatar sun aika talaifu kaliban daban da suka keta dokokin gwamnatin tarayyar kasar ta Amerika wannan bayanai daga hukumar samar da tsarin gida ta kasar da kuma wasu daga hukumomin shige da fice na hana fasa kwabri suna nuna cewa a tsakanin shekarar 2003 da ta 2018 daga cikin yan Najeriya 5800 da 92 da aka dawo da su gida Najeriya 319 daga cikin sun aikata wani aikin kaifi a kasar sai sauran 2783 da ba a kama su da wani laifi ba Najeriya ke da kashi 15 bisa 100 na yan Afrika 2478 da kasar Amurka ta mayar kasashen su na asali. Karshen labaran kenan da kuka riga ya kuka ji daga nan gidan television na Standard Voice. Amma kafin ne salama da ku ga fitar kanin labaran. Babban Hafsa sojojin Najeriya ya ce tattaunawa ba ta cikin tsarin yaki da ta'addanci a kasar nan. Shirin sadarwa na na'urorin zamani za ya samar wa Najeriya kudaden shiga sama da dala biliyan 1. Gwamnatin tarayyar Najeriya tana burin samun nara triliyan 1 daga harajin hadahadar kudade a asusun bankuna. A labarin kasuwanci da masana'antu kuwa, gwamnatin tarayya ta kara farashin man fitar zuwa nara 143 da kobo 80. A labarin kasashen ketare kuwa sama da yan Najeriya 300 aka kora daga kasar Amurka a dalilin aikata laifuka amma da dunkowa da kowa musamman shugaban sashin labarai Alhaji Ibrahim Garbatun da kuma shugaban sashin Hausa Mr. Lawal Samaila Fatima Ibrahim ke ce da ku mu kwana lafiya <tune>